Breakout is created and produced by High Bar Productions. Consult your physician before you start exercising with the Flex Magazine Workout. Follow the exercises carefully. Exercise at your own pace. Start with very light weights. If you feel any strain, stop immediately and consult your physician. For muscle and we got it and our two special guests pro iron man champion and mr U usa jj marsh All right, thanks, thanks for being here and on my right we got german giant akim albrush mr universe and world champion and ifpb professional akim thanks right. for coming down we're going to find out how to get a big round chest and massive humongous triceps jj is going to take us into this one with warming up on the flat dumbbell bench press what we want to try to do here today is pick out about two or three good exercises show you how to do it in proper form, find out what special techniques uh, Occam uses, as well as JJ Marsh. But it's always important to warm up, loosen up the joints. We're definitely cold right now, but by the end of the show, we're gonna be sweating for you. Come on, JJ. Warm it up with a full range of motion, nice stretch, a real moderate weight, easy pace. There's no rush to this exercise. Great. Okay, Occam, how many sets do you do to warm up before you get to the head? Uh, normally two, two up, up to three. Yeah, it only takes about two or three sets. Go ahead, work on it. It only takes about two or three sets to really get warmed up. Okay. A lightweight, again, we've got a really big guy here in Occam, and he's using the same weight to warm up. You're going to run into differences, JJ, as we continue to pyramid the weight up as far as who's stronger and who's not, right? Exactly. What he's doing now, he's just taking his time, going through the motions. Warm up the muscles really well before we get into the heavy weight. Now, this is the exercise everybody wants to know how strong you are. And they're always saying, how much can you press? Right, it's an ego thing. Well, you're walking down the street, someone says, how much can you bench press? Yeah. They don't care about anything else you may lift. They just want to know how much you can bench. Does it really matter how much you can press? No, nah, it's just, it's it's more or less shape and size and symmetry on stage. It doesn't matter when you're on stage how much you can press. Right. Let's go. Good. We're going to sort this out. Okay, why don't we do one more? All right. No, the, the exercise is very, I never do the same exercise twice. You need the, you need the kind of spice to break it up. So, because if you're, you're sticking to the same exercises and you're doing it repeatedly, you know, the body gets used to it so it doesn't respond anymore. So you want to shock the muscles and do something different when you train that body part. Let's go, JJ. Okay, With the first on. exercise that we're doing right now, this is the Smith Machine One. Incline Press. Two. Now, this is a little bit different from the dumbbell and the free bar, Three. though. Because Come on. It's, on a, it's on an even plane. Four. We've got a... We've got an even plane here Five. where you can't let the weight bobble back and forth. This is going to keep you in position. He's bringing it down right to the base of Seven. his neck, top of his pecs. It's basically working the Eight. upper part of the chest. Come on, JJ. Nine. Push it out. Come on. Perfect. Good job. Ten. Good, sir. I'll jump in there. Okay. Come on, Sean. Lift up. All right. Come on. Come on. Push it up. One. Two. Push it up. Three, four, five, yes. six. Come on, come on. Seven, eight, nine. Push it up. Ten. Twist it. Good job. That's the difficult thing about the Smith machine is that if you start using any amount of poundage up there, sometimes because you do have to twist your wrist around to get the bar into position, you get you get stuck. So it's good to have a, a training partner or a spotter that can actually help Push you twist the bar and latch it into your handles. Four. JJ, you pull it down to the five. upper part of your pecs. He's at the middle of his pecs. What's the difference? What I'm doing when I'm coming way down to the throat, I'm getting very variations of a stretch on the upper pecs. So it really brings the upper pecs out a lot fuller. Good. So it's important, Akim. It's very important to actually touch your skin when you pull that down. Yes, absolutely. Okay, great. Let's continue on with another stretching exercise over here. Let's move into the pec deck. Who's gonna lead us off? I'll lead us off. Okay, great. Okay, what we're going to be doing now, this is another variation of the fly exercise, except we're using a machine called the pec deck. There's different forms of this machine. 
Here we go. Stretch it out. Let's go. There's different forms of this machine. I'm going to move to the side so you can see. He gets a great stretch and a contraction at the, in the middle. What that's doing is he's bringing out the striations. It's working basically the center portion of the pecs. But again, people say that we're not as flexible as bodybuilders. The cool. general exercises that we do require us to be flexible. Now, Occam, since you did have that injury, does this affect you? Because you've got a really wide range of motion on this. I have to be very careful, so I, I take less weight and yep. concentrate more on this exercise. Is this going to add mass or definition for you? It's more a shaping movement. Go ahead. I'll follow your set. JJ, does it really matter how much weight you're using on this? Because it's not like using dumbbells. No, this is more or less just a, a finisher, just to polish everything off. So, you know, you want to keep really strict form. So. The weight's not a not an issue on this exercise. Yeah, I notice he's totally concentrated. Now, would this be uh, considered basically a free contest exercise? Because a lot of females, they always want to build up their chest also. Is this an exercise for them as well? Well, this is something that you can do uh, pre-contest and off-season just to get real, a lot more flexibility through the uh, pecs and everything. So right. it's a good exercise to do male All and right. female. Good. good job. JJ, wrap that around. What's good about this machine is you can grab that up. You can grab two different variations of the angle. Right. Right. Come on. I'll grab it up top. Seems like it's working more in the middle of the chest than holding on the top like that. Oh, yeah, it is. This forces you to go out wide, the range of motion on this machine, right? It does, because you know you want to tend to go back as far back as you can stretch, but not to the point to where you're going to rip something. Like, if I, over, if I was to over-exaggerate, okay. Let that go off him. If I was to over exaggerate, I mean, would this help me or would this hurt no, me? No, this I... would, you would definitely get yourself injured by doing that. Okay, so I want to just keep right in tight. Great. Okay, good job. Right. Let's move on to another, considered a stretching exercise, but I know this was a favorite of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and there's other variations to do this. This is called the dumbbell pullover. Now, this is supposed to do what? Expand the rib cage, right? Yeah. Work the upper pecs and expand the rib, rib cage to give you a real fuller look when you're on stage. OK. What's the important thing about doing this exercise? Mainly you want to get a really good stretch, but you want to keep your hips down so you get that real good stretch. Okay. Squeeze your pecs when you come to the top. A lot of guys complain about their triceps doing this exercise. Well, see, if you have your arms really extended, you tend to work the long head of the tricep. So try to keep a little slight bend to the elbows when you're working this. Keep my butt as close down to the ground? Exactly. And that'll help you with your stretch. Great. Come on, now. Two times. There you go. Take that, JJ. Good job, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna show you a different variation of this exercise. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, this is not cross bench. This is the long way. You got your feet up on top. Do you do this very often? No. Yeah, there's a lot of bodybuilders I don't see. They get away from this, but when I started bodybuilding, I was looking at the bodybuilders from the late 70s, early 80s. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Boyer Co., another co-host of ours and they incorporate this into their chest training. I do it sometimes to stretch my chest after a heavy chest workout, mm -hmm. but it's not for adding mass. So it's just basically stretching? Yes. OK. But I do know that a lot of people say that it does expand the rib cage, the rib box, so that when they do their side chest exercise, you can actually see the expansion of the rib cage. I think if you're uh, older than, uh, than 16, mm -hmm. you know, 14, 16, you can't do it. Okay. Well, once you get jump on in there, you can need to do it either way. All right. Now, JJ, did, I noticed how you were grabbing that dumbbell. You had your hand, your palms were basically oh, wow. holding the weight, like Occam, and I was grabbing the middle bar. Well, see here, it's more or less you, you're really feeling the weight. Here, when you're holding in the center, you're taking more of the weight with your arms because you got that grip there where you have a false grip here. Yeah. So you're really feeling more of the weight when you're coming down. And, and what's a good weight? I mean, is there a general rule of thumb when it comes to weight on this exercise? You know, it varies. I mean, if you if you go heavy, you really want to watch your form and keeping your hips down. Right. You know. Okay, I notice he's got his feet very close together, and that's that's a good rule of thumb. That's exactly. Keep... This is working the middle portion, upper portion of the chest. I'd be spotting her by the elbows. She's twisting at the top to get the inner pecs as well. Good job, Arnie. Come on. Arnie. <sighs> This is 45 pound dumbbells she's got here, guys. <laughs> Notice how low she's going to get that full stretch. Kevin, yeah, well, go ahead. Sean? Yeah, you're on. I wonder All why right. you put the straps on there. I put these straps on because it's now time to get serious, baby. <laughs> it's and plus, support. also for support, <laughs> man. All right. You know, the heavier I go, the more support you need. And the bigger you're going to get. Okay, you're going to get a lot of support back here. <sighs> 
Now, Anya, he's using 100 pound dumbbells. What do you work up to in your workouts? Well, I'm usually going up to like 60. Yeah, 60 pounds, that's pretty good. Let's go. What is a good weight for a female bodybuilder? There is not, no good yeah, weight, whatever. You can use whatever, how okay. strong you are. It depends person to person. All right. Okay, now the incline is basically okay. working the upper portion. Come on, Sean. Hand me that one, Kevin, please. No problem. Quite a challenge here go. going on, Sean. Let's pick up Let's the pace. Go. I felt kind of light to me. You know? Yeah, you didn't need a spot. I recognize huh? that. I'm not going to yeah. use a spot either. Okay. Come on. So give us... How many more? How many more, Kevin? Four. Eight more? This Four is for more. you. Four? Okay, okay, I got five. One. I don't want to wear him out too Two. quick, you know? Three. I got to save it for later on when you I bury him. You made it too him. easy for him. Okay, good. Okay, great. <laughs> You gotta be okay. careful you don't hit your feet. <laughs> What's next? We're gonna do some fly, flat oh, yeah. flies. Drop the bench down. It's always good to have an adjustable bench. It comes right. in handy. Now, Great. she's using 20 pounds for this exercise. Anya. Again, it doesn't really matter the weight, as long as it feels good, you know? So and everybody have the whole range of movement going yeah. on here. You gotta get the full stretch at the bottom. And again, what Anya's doing at the top is she's twisting to work the inner portion of the pecs. <sighs> Great. Now, as Anya continues to increase her poundage, the, the range of motion may become shorter, right, Kevin? Right. Because the weight is so heavy and the resistance, exactly. she's not going to be able to come all the way down. Now, notice how she's breathing. Inhale, yeah. exhale. exhale. Very she's important with part. the weight. It's very important Good. to keep that blood circulation going to the muscles. You're up, bro. All right, she did flies. Well, I guess you're going to have to try 85s, baby. Hey, go ahead. You're up. <laughs> Notice, you I like this. Sit here. Challenge going on in here. You like this? Yeah. All right. You got that? You want me to hand you? I got it. I really don't often work out with two professional bodybuilders, so this is a new experience for me. OK, Kevin. Well, Anya, I travel a lot, so I have the opportunity to train with lots of my competition and upcoming guys. How's that, Sean? That's perfect. 85 pounds, good and ask for better form. So Great. we see the striations in his chest. That's where you're going to get the separation. And you're also going to get the shaping on the, on the pecs which uh, I find that a lot of females are attracted to a man with a well-developed chest. Is that true? You tell well, me. Well, some of them are. <laughs> I won't tell you my taste, though. <laughs> well, it's always nice if you got a nice developed chest, and this is one of the shaping exercises that's gonna get you there. All right. Good, Kevin. I'm not gonna use 85 pounds. That's just too much weight for me. So you have to do some more reps, I would say. I normally right? max out with 85 pounds, so, so I'm going to go with man? You're backing down? No, I'm not backing down, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm being smart. That's you know right. When? I got to know when to say when. Remember that. Right. A lot you of guys will go so heavy that they'll lose their form, you know? Heavy isn't always the right way to do things. You have to know what you're capable of in good form. That's, That's right. very important. Right. Now, of course, we know Sean can handle much more than this, yeah. but the main thing is form. That's right. And that's what we're trying to show you today. Okay. The way to train. But then let's move Everybody's on to our third different. training exercise. Everybody's different. Yeah. And you just have to use the weight where you're able to like Comfortable. perform 10 reps. That's right. Come on, on 12 yeah. reps. Let's, let's do some cable crossovers. Let's show. Yeah, 10 to 12 repetitions is great. Let's show me how it's hey, done. If you can't do it, don't try it. Don't handle it. Here we go. Another shaping exercise, Kevin. Free contest mostly or what? Oh yeah, definitely. She's crossing the hands in front and she's alternating one hand over the next with each successive repetition. You want to lean into this exercise and on occasion as the weight gets heavier, you can bounce just a little bit and bend your knees. This isn't something that you have to do very strictly the whole time. It's a constant rhythm. Notice how she's she gets into the rhythm, the motion of doing this exercise. Right, you gotta keep a steady pace and a rhythm. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're cheating. Yeah. That you're swinging. You like come on. across and squeeze. Right. Yeah, you gotta squeeze it, just like the most muscular. So person. what do you think? Mass, size, shape. shape. Right? Cuts. Cuts, what else? Money. Money. Fortune, fame. Yeah. This is where you get there. Win, win, win. Fun in your workouts. Right? Are you thinking about me when you're doing this exercise, Sean? I'm thinking about everybody. I'm bringing them on. <laughs> I'm thinking about winning. The good thing about bodybuilding, man, is there's no, no uh, place for complacency. All right. You know, you can never be satisfied. All right. 
You going with the same weights, Kevin? Oh, see how it feels. Oh, yeah. Oh, Make sure you get it feels straight. too light, <laughs> then I'll add some weight. It's not only just training in the gym, it's what you do outside of the gym as well. Um, and what I mean is by nutrition, you have to have a balance. You have to have a nutritional balance, the proper proteins, the proper carbohydrates, um, you know, your fat intake and all of this. And then also rest, you know. I get about maybe about 12 hours of sleep a day, you know. But this is what's required for my body to recuperate after these heavy workouts. Um, and then the gym come into play, you know, what I do in the gym. I go in the gym, I get the job done, and then I leave, you know. I don't hang around and do a lot of talking. So the gym is a place where you take, you know, it, it's, it's when I walk in the gym, it's work, you know. And just have a discipline and a, and a good attitude about the whole thing. Okay, moving on from chest to tricep, which is also another pushing exercise. JJ's got a unique way of doing this. JJ, talk, tell us about it. Yeah, note the underhand grip that I'm taking on the bar here. So the weight's fairly light so you can perform this exercise. Okay, so this is basically the tricep extension. You familiar with I this never, exercise? I never did it before. You normally use what, the easy curl bar yes. and bring it to the forehead? So, but I will give it a try. Yeah, sure, that's what bodybuilding's all about, is variety and trying anything at least once. I know one thing, his tricep, this is what it's working, the inside right here, the meaty portion of his triceps. Good job, JJ. You were bringing it all the way down to behind your head. Go ahead and try it. I've tried this once before when we trained. Remember that out in yeah. Fullerton, California one year? And uh, I was sore, so this is a good exercise to loosen it up with. Now you can't use a whole lot of weight on this, can you? No, because then you seem to uh, not able to get the bar behind you. Really okay, this is his first time, so tell him what, what is he doing. Okay, what you need to do is come up, come down a little lower. That's it. Bring yourself out. Bring the bar below the bench. It's like a kickback. Yeah, out. and just extend it out. Flex the tricep at the top of the there exercise. You know. There Feels you go. Good. There you go. This is working the inside again. A portion of the tricep that hangs low. And this is a mandatory pose when you're on stage, so you've exactly. got to make sure you take this exercise seriously. Good job. Okay. Is there a, is, yeah. How'd you find out about this, JJ? Were you just playing with your grips? Yeah, you just, you know, I was just trying different uh, various exercises to work with three heads of the tricep. Uh -huh. You know, and this is one exercise I found that works out very well. Am I grabbing it in close or a little wider? You can go either or on this exercise. It's right here, right? Good, there you go. Straight back at you? Straight back at me. Ah. Good. Wow. Good. Now, the traditional way that I've done it before, I grab it about thumb distance apart, straight down to the forehead, right? Exactly. Kick it back. Okay, take that, get burned out. Yeah. Okay, Akam, why don't you take us to our next exercise? Okay. Let us go to the one-arm dumbbell extensions. One-arm dumbbell extensions. All right, seated. Now, I know everybody's got their own way of doing this. I, on one hand, like to bring it actually across my head. How about you? I try to keep the arm really close to the head, bringing the dumbbell as low as possible, and then extending at the top. Again, this is working the inner head of the tricep. And uh, what about poundage on this? I, like I said, you can go heavy on this exercise, but then you tend to lose the form. Right. So you want to stay very strict. So use a moderate weight uh -huh. that you can perform the exercise for anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. All right, now is this is the tricep muscle as strong as the bicep muscle? Because I know on biceps I can use 80 pound dumbbells, and on triceps, you know, I'm stuck at around 45 and 50. It, it, it varies. Some people are great at pulling, some people are great at pushing, you know. And I'm just the opposite. I can push more than I can curl. Now building up the tricep is also going to indirectly help you with your pressing exercises on exactly. chest and shoulders. Exactly. Okay. Do you ever strap up when you wear these on your on your wrist? Is it, it is good to strap up, especially if you're going to go heavy with the dumbbells. So just keep your grip in there. Keep the elbow close to the head. There you go. Drop it down lower. Good, there you go. Good How job. low is low, JJ? How far? I try to bring the top of the dumbbell to the base, you know, base of the neck there. You get it back there. There you go. Good job. All right. What do I do with my free hand when I'm... Now you can rest it on your thigh. Just try to keep yourself balanced. You can also perform this exercise standing up. That way you can get a further stretch. Bringing the dumbbell down lower. Good job, Sean. Good. Okay. Now, Akam, over in Germany, they don't go by poundage. So, how many kilos would you normally work up to? Uh, I would say uh, up to 30 kilograms. Yeah. 
Are you a free weight person or you use a lot of machines? Uh, normally I like to, to train with free, with free weights, mm -hmm. but before a contest I have to switch to machines to train my muscles from uh, different angles. That's a good point because a lot of people don't know that we actually go from the heavy barbell and dumbbell into using more machines. Why is that? Uh, because in the off season, your main goal is to add miles. Right. And uh, in the preseason, you have to uh, get the definition and the maturity. Okay, I hear you. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it going right now. We're gonna do some dips. Let's uh, angle this. Can you get that bar out of the way, JJ? Oh, this is a favorite of mine. I know I get a great stretch on this, and on occasion, I'll have two benches to elevate my feet. But today, we're gonna use it with our feet on the ground. Try to keep my heels out as far away from the body as I can. My hands are about shoulders width apart, and it's straight down. My head is up. Oh, I'll come down as far as I can. Good, there you go. Really flex at the top. Seems like when you're doing these exercises, you're working more without it than the tricep here. You see how he's flexing it right here? Bringing it up. Come on, Sean, come on. Two more. Let's go. Ah. Good job. It's hard to keep right. your head up when you do that, but I think it's important to because then you keep more pressure on it. I've seen you do these in the gym. We have your feet up elevated, and you've got 200-pound plates across your thighs. Yes. Now, what does that do for you, having it on your thighs? Oh, I, uh, if I get it on my thighs, uh, uh, I, can, uh, incre I can increase the intensity. The because resistance. I can. Yes. Right. JJ's got a very wide grip. Now, that's either a lot of people do it for comfortability purposes. Some guys, like Brutal Fox, their arms are so big that they can't put their hands behind them. I think it's good to uh, change uh, yeah. the grip. Variety. we got a couple of more minutes left. About two or three more minutes, and our 30 minutes are up. I'm gonna do a couple more reps. To take us okay, out of here. Okay, you're on. Okay, come on. Bring it home. One, two, three. <sighs> Flex Magazine Workout is created and produced by High Bar Productions in association with Weeder Publications Incorporated and ESPN.